Hey guys, uh, this is part two to the series that I'm doing where I play all the FNAF games and I talk over them. For this one, we're doing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, so yeah, there's not really much to say since I said like all that I was going to say last time about what this is. So um, yeah, watch the last video I did with FNAF 1, Vintage Pizzeria, Give a New Life, can be part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What could go wrong? 150 a week. Faz, Fazbear, call that number. Um, which isn't real. Yeah. That goes without saying though. So, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, I still really like this one. I know that's kind of a controversial take these days, but I still like it. Um, so yeah. There's the toy animatronics, but we'll let Scott talk before we get get into that. There's a music box, Mango, BB, there's the old animatronics about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small portion on it. Above all, products, safety? Uh, facial recognition, mm. advanced mobility. They even let them walk I don't know about that day. one. Isn't that neat? But most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. <coughs> uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, look, I wonder why that was. Uh, mainly he you know what I'm saying? That certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... I think I've already used one battery. ...given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Right, so right, 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 right. There's a pizza right. box over by the fire counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch oh. over to the prize counter. Video I think I saw JJ, but I don't know. Seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. Mm. Okay, so it's 2 a.m. now. So the, the music box is going to go down. Oh, and Toy Bonnie's here. Oh, Toy Chica moved too. Uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So mm -hmm. don't worry yeah, about she the can move again, dang. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the spray head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, be the case. Have a good night. Right, I'll right. Alright. So now that he's done talking, it's always the first night and they talk forever. Um, yeah. So this. Oh, Toy Bonnie's already moved into. Party room four, dang. Um, this is I like this more than the first game, just because I like the gameplay more. And I know that's like, oh, Toy Freddy moved. I know that's like controversial. I don't know why. Well, I know why. Um, and I understand why a lot of people don't like this game. Trust me, I do. I'm just not one of those people. Um. Now, I don't like the later, like the, um, I don't like the max mode of this game very much at all. Uh, because the max mode of the game, um, it's either really, really, like, RNG based or you, it's really skill based, basically. Um, to the point, like, you, you need a timer and everything. So that's not, so that's, that's Toy Freddy moving into the hall right there. Um, and I just don't like that. I don't think the, the game definitely starts to get that rushed feeling um it definitely starts to get that feeling the more you play the game oh whoops 
The more you play the game, the more you realize, uh, this, this, dang, Toy Freddy. Every animatronic this night is, like, on something, bro, I swear. Um, but you definitely get that feeling. And, but, and you can definitely tell that, you know, this game only took, like, how long? Two, three months to make? I don't really know. Um, yeah, but that doesn't really, like, that doesn't really deter me away from it. Like, 1020 mode is is where the game really starts to you really start to notice the flaws in the game because of the way some of the animatronics work um and i don't think some of the mechanics in this game were thought out too well um and the main critique people have is the there's 11 animatronics and there's like four three there's like three mechanics you use you use the mask the music box and the boxy all right, well, so we got Toy Bonnie to go away. Not Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica. Um, and that's a fair take. But, you know, I just, for what this game is, I like it. It's a rushed game, but it, there's still a lot to the game. And a lot of the characters in this game I really like. So I really like the toy animatronics, and I really like the withered animatronics. And uh, this game, I have, I probably have the second. This is the s probably. Hmm, I don't know how to word this. This is the. I have a lot of technical knowledge in this game. I guess you would say, uh, because this used to be my favorite FNAF game. This isn't my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's uh, mainline game, actually. Um, it ranks lower, um, just because I like a bunch of these games, and um, but that doesn't mean I don't like this game. Obviously, I like this game, as I've already stated a bunch of times in this. Um, okay, Toy Bonnie's in the vent. Yeah, so Toy Bonnie's irritating in the later modes because of this mechanic where Toy Bonnie goes in front of you and does a little blackout. Uh, because because it, it's really problematic because Toy Bonnie also will take a random amount of time to get out of the vents. And, um, and so it's really problematic in 1020 mode. Unless you use certain strategies, um, then it's not really a problem. Uh, but yeah, night one, easy. Very easy night. Uh, night all of these nights are easy for me. Um, because, because I know a lot about this game. So let's listen to what Fun Guy has to say for the second night. For one, which is Foxy. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always be disoriented with bright light. No, there's Mango. Yeah, Mangle comes out this night, BB comes out this night, then Withered Foxy comes out this night. Mangle looks so eerie right there. I don't know. I've always thought Mangle looked cool in the, um, game area. Um, so, oh, so yeah. Uh, this night, things get a lot more chaotic because they add in three more animatronics and the toy animatronics that you're used to in night one. 
uh, are more aggressive. Oh. Oh, that was Toy Bonnie. Um, so yeah, Withered Fox, you should appear out now. But, uh, oh, there's Mango and, uh, Toy Chica. Hey, this is funny because this screenshot right here with Toy Chica and Mango, it's like somebody, like, screen capped this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, I never knew that Toy Chica would, could move away from this camera while you're already on it. That's interesting. Um, but someone screenshotted that and they were like, is Mango rebuilding Foxy or something like that? I don't remember. Not Mango. Is Toy Chica rebuilding Foxy or is Toy Chica rebuilding Mango? I remember that. Dang, Mango. Um, and a lot of people believe that to be true, which is, it, it's just, I don't, I don't get where people saw it. Um, yeah, everybody's moving right now. I don't get where people saw that. Um, okay. Toy Chica moved away from the vent. Okay, so Toy Chica and Toy Bonnie are about to move into the vent. Oh, who's that moving? I think that's Foxy. Who's in the vent? Toy Bonnie. Oh, there's Foxy. Withered Foxy is a, such a cool character. Withered Foxy and the puppet. Um, and, and Withered Freddy. I really like the three of them in this game. I think Withered Golden Freddy is cool too. I, I just like, I honestly like all of these. Withered Bonnie looks cool. Um, I like all of the animatronics in this game. Some of the, most of them aren't like, well, the toy animatronics aren't too scary. Like the scare factor isn't in this one as much as FNAF 1. And the atmosphere isn't as heavy as, you know, FNAF 1. And that's because the game, like I said, was rushed. Um, but this one, like, I feel like it's memorable for everyone just because it's so, like, of how chaotic it is. So there's DB in the vent. It's, it's really, like, it's a really chaotic game, at least compared to the other game. And that's what I like about this. There's, like, there's a bunch going on, and you're not used to it. You're used to four animatronics, and in this game, you face up to 11. Which is a big step up from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And I think, I think that's what Scott was going for. I think he was going for like a chaotic experience. And I think he did that, I think he executed that well. Say what you want about the core mechanics of the game. When you're first playing this, you feel overwhelmed. That's a general thing that everybody can relate to. When you're first playing this game and you don't know what's going on, you feel overwhelmed. Um, okay, so Toy Chica is there, yeah. So the, an the toy animatronics have a 10% chance to leave at every second. Uh, you have the mask on when they're at the vent, but they, will, they have a 100% chance to leave uh, after five seconds of being at the vent. Um... And it's good to know that because uh, of a strategy that people like to use for 1020 mode, which is called the right vent camp strat, right vent camp strategy, which is where you have your, when, when a blackout happens, you have your mask on for like a th three fourths of a second. So 70.75, 7 fifths of a second. I couldn't get that out. Um, you have it for 0.75 seconds longer than you would. Oh. And there's, there's another mechanic uh, where Toy Freddy can go back to the stage if you have your mask on when he's in the hallway. Um, when he's on stage two in the hallway, at least. Uh, but back to what I was saying, you have your mask on for 0.75 seconds after a blackout ends. You're going to have your mask on for five seconds, meaning every left vent animatronic, BB, and Toy Chica will leave. Um, and that includes Mangle as well, but you have to check the right vent still because of Toy Bonnie. Um, because Toy Bonnie isn't guaranteed to leave after the five second interval. Um, yeah, I got Toy Bonnie just works completely different from the other vent animatronics. And, yeah. Oh, Toy Bonnie's back. And that's what makes the, uh, that's what makes 1020 mode so annoying. But, night too easy for me. So, I think we're gonna get a cutscene and then we're going to, yeah. We're gonna get a cutscene and then we're gonna go... 
which introduces the Withered animatronics, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, and Withered Freddy. And then you don't get introduced into a new to a new animatronic until night six, and it's just one, and that's Golden Freddy. So, you know, after you learn the mechanics of these three, which it's easy, after you learn the mechanics of these three, you basically know the whole game. Um, because Golden Freddy's mechanic is you just put the mask on when he's in your office or you don't shine the light in the hallway, and that's easy. So, yeah. With the Withered Animatronics, all you have to do is put your mask on when they enter your office. And it's like a reaction-based uh, thing. Which isn't hey, difficult. Did, uh, Foxy ever repair the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly instead of his kid's code. To keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in every ship. Eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Alright. Um, the Withered Animatronics, they're able to move, like, at 12 a.m. They haven't yet. Uh, for th Night 3, Mangle isn't active for some odd reason. I don't know why. I think, I feel like Scott, uh, he either intended it that way so he could have an easier time learning the, um, the Withered Animatronics. Or he forgot to enable Mangle. But the Withered Animatronics are easy to learn. Uh, it, it'll, it probably will seem hard at first because you're not used to having to flip your mask on in a reaction-based kind of thing. But, uh, the more you play this game, the more you get into the habit of literally- Oh, wait, 1 a.m. and Toy Bonnie's gone. Wow. That's, like, early. I don't think- I didn't think- I thought Toy Bonnie left the stage at 2 a.m. on um, night 3. There's a lot of- that just shows that I don't know a few things- a certain things in this game still. Uh, but yeah, okay, none of the Withered Animatronics are moving at all. So, I don't know, I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal with that is. How did Toy Bonnie move before Withered Bonnie? Hello? How did Toy Chica move before the Withered Bonnie? What? I don't know what's going on right now. Um, but the Withered Animatronics are kind of difficult to learn at first, but, uh, you just have to get into the habit of putting your mask on when you get lower the camera. Uh, when they're nearby. And that just becomes a, that just becomes a natural thing, oh, like, through playing this game. Oh, okay. Uh, that just becomes a natural thing. You get into the habit of that, and then, you know, you'll just start doing it over time. Not much is really happening this night, honestly. Oh, I glitched the game. Nobody's really moving around. Alright, except for, like, Foxy. Okay, Toy Bonnie's about to go in that vent. You don't really see the toys as much in these later nights. Um, they kind of get phased out, and then they come back in night five. Uh, I guess so you can get a chance to learn the Withered animatronics. Alright, I think Bonnie's here, yep. There's BB in the vents. Um, and another main critique that people have with this game is you're constantly on the music box camera. You don't really get a chance to look around. Um, and I would argue once you have enough game knowledge and you're confident enough, you can switch cameras like I'm doing. I've been doing that. And you can keep doing that. I feel like you could keep doing that 
up into night five, I think. Like, there's Chica. Freddy's still there. You could keep doing that until like night five. Okay, so Bonnie's about to go in that vent. Toy Bonnie's about to go into the vent too. Toy Bonnie's been there for ages. But I would argue that once you get like comfortable and confident enough in yourself with this game, you could you can look at other things other than the music box up until night five. And that's because there's like, well, the toy animatronics and the withered animatronics are like really active. And uh, the music box runs down pretty fast in night five. Okay, so withered Bonnie's in that event now. Toy Chica has just been in the hallway forever. So this is the point where I would start putting the mask on. So both of the Bonnies are in the vents. Uh, I would start putting the mask on because right after you flip down the cameras because where their Bonnie is near. And once you don't see him in the vent anymore, then you know, he's that means he's into your room. He's inside your room. So that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, Freddy's still not moved. Toy Chica, Toy Chica, Wither Chica hasn't moved. Toy Chica has moved more than you with the chica come up this is supposed to be your night how are the toys being more active than the freaking withered animatronics oh there's foxy and weirdly with foxy when he leaves this area he like just straight up disappears i'll try and get it i'll try and show y'all i know my oh i couldn't show y'all you can also, hold on, let me see if I can get Shadow Freddy. Yeah, there he is. Shadow Freddy. Got him twice. Uh, I can't really keep using my flashlight too much because I'll die to Foxy if I keep doing that. Oh, I got my camera forced down. Well, we got Withered Bonnie in here. Um... Yeah, my flashlight's about to run out, and I can't let that happen or I'll die to Boxy. So, you know, I kind of got to chill out with that. Hello. Okay, so there's Wither Chica. There's BB. Alright, there we go. Easy night. Night 4 is easy too. For a lot of people, this probably wouldn't be that easy. But, uh, you know. I know the game pretty well, so... Alright, this time you'll see Golden Freddy or Fredbear. I don't know which one it is. Um, but yeah, I'll move over and then... Fredbear will be there. I don't really know what all this means. I just know you're Freddy looking at Bonnie and Chica on the stage from FNAF 1. Um, so yeah... I'm not fully sure if this has anything to do with the lore. I don't really keep up with the FNAF lore. Um, never have. I'm more interested in the games and the gameplay compared to the lore. I'm still interested in the lore. I have a decent amount of knowledge. I think I have surface level knowledge of everything that goes on in these games in a lore aspect. Uh, I have more of a gameplay. I have more gameplay knowledge though than lore knowledge for these games. Withered animatronics are still not moving. Alright, so there's an investigation going on. Oh my gosh, I just let BB in. I was in the middle of talking. Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, I didn't do that. I never do that too. That's crazy. I think I'm dead, chat. I think I'm dead. Oh, 
how did I let that happen? How did I let that happen? How did I let that happen? Well, anyway, um, there's an investigation going on with uh, Freddy Fazbear's, um, this, this plate that we're at. And um, the animatronics are acting weird. Um, they're, they're acting aggressive towards people that go into the establishment, which, you know, shouldn't happen, and it's alarming them. Um, that's basically it, though. So, um, Golden Freddy is gonna appear. There's something, they're gonna find a golden suit in a back room. And, um, that's, at that point, Golden Freddy will be inside the establishment. I think they mentioned that in Night 6. So that's two nights away, so we still got a bit. But I'm surprised I died, um, where I let BB in. Uh, but I was, like, in the middle of talking. I didn't hear him, like, say hi. Which is what he will do when he's in the vent. And, um, I just put up my camera and I let him in on accident. So whoops on my part. There's another Foxy death. Um, are all of these gameplays, are, am I gonna die to Foxy at least once in all of them? Uh, cause last, last one I, I died to Foxy. Okay, BB's in the vent. Alright, remember that BB's in the vent this time. Okay. Bro said hi like three times in a row. There. See, we're good now. Yeah, the withered animatronics are like being really inaggressive. Which I'm not complaining about. You know, the easier it is, the better, I guess. But you know, I can handle it, I feel like. I've been 1020 mode, I've done everything you can do in this game. I figured, you know, I wouldn't mind the challenge. Okay, so Mangle's about to go into the vents. Yeah, there's not really much happen going on right now. Um, and you guys can see that, you know, I'm having like an easy time still switching through cameras. So it's not like, you know, once you get, it's not like once you get past night one, you're just never going to be able to switch cameras again, obviously. You know, if you're good, you're skilled enough at the game, you can still look while maintaining everything. Um, Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Okay, there's two of the withered animatronics have moved. Well, one of them, actually. I think withered Bonnie has moved into the hallway. Yeah, he has. Dang, bro. Bro is just in my door. I teleported into the vent. What? Same thing was happening in FNAF 1. I would see an animatronic and they'd be like really far away and then they'd like teleport to an area. I was like, uh, what? Okay, Foxy's there, so there's Withered Freddy. In the hallway. Oh, he's in. Yeah, I didn't see him in the vent, so. Wither, Chica, and Mangle. Mangle doesn't really look right, it's just sitting there though. She never does in any of the cameras. I don't think she really looks... You know, she doesn't really look... She looks out of place, I guess. So now, there she... Wither Chica is always, like, I've always found, like, unsettling looking, I guess. Because, like, her eyes look like they're about to freaking pop out of her head. And her beak is, like, wide open. I used to be scared of her when I was younger. I also used to be scared of Bonnie when I was younger. There you are. Right, first time Withered Chicas came into the room. I used to be scared of Withered... Not Withered, Bonnie. Uh, I used to be scared of Bonnie. Oh, shoot. Withered Freddy. Is at my door? Oh, and now he's... Okay, that was fast. in the vents. I heard two vent sounds. So BB's in there. Uh, my flashlight situation is not looking good. One battery and it's freaking three. Okay, now it's 4 a.m. Here's Mango. 
and watch. I'll, okay. Never mind, she left early. Okay, where the chick is back in the vent. Keep glitching the cameras. Okay, we have zero batteries. I'm gonna have to be really stingy with with the flashlight right now. Cause it's only 4 a.m. Don't want to die to Foxy twice on night four. No one's in the vents. I just heard a vent sound now. Is that Chica? I think that's Toy Bonnie. Wither Freddy again. Not Wither Freddy. Shadow Freddy. Okay. Yeah, it's flashing. Now we gotta be careful. Oh shoot, there's Toy Bonnie. Okay. kind of expected an animatronic to get into my office again, so I just wanted to get it over with. I need Freddy's back. Please go away. I'm so worried about my flashlight going out like any second now. Okay, cool. So there's night four. Night five, things are gonna get a good bit more difficult because the toys are gonna be way more active now. And the withereds are too. So yeah, now we got the puppet staring at us. Again, I don't know how this ties into the lore. Like I said, I know surface level stuff. Um. Yeah. I do like these cutscenes though. And I like, um, oh, with that play. I like that the game, that this game has cutscenes like that. Like the first one was lacking those, right? You know what I'm saying? And, um, the 8 bit mini games that you get when you die sometimes too. Which, if I have the time for, I'll show you. I only have an hour, I'm doing hours, hey, hourly hey, videos, hey, um, because uh, that's what my PlayStation will be, let me record uh, up to. Okay, so Toy Bonnie's already moved. Right Anyway, uh, so yeah, things are getting worse, uh, they, they've closed down the establishment, um, and this is supposedly supposed to be my last night, which it isn't, I come back tomorrow for that extra $20, um, not exactly sure this job is worth $20, being, you know, working a day here, but, you know, Gotta do what I gotta do sometimes, I guess. Uh, but, like I said, I only have like an hour for these videos, so... Um, I'll probably... I'm not sure if I'll be able to get everything in that I want to do. I wasn't able to do that with FNAF 1. Uh, I wanted to show all the jump scares. And I, I just couldn't... I couldn't do the Freddy... 
for everyone. And I wanted to beat Night 6 as well. Um, but yeah, I forgot there was like a limit, so. Is Freddy at the door? I don't see Freddy ever anywhere unless Bonnie, he's in, yeah, he's just in the hall. Bonnie takes priority over that. There's Freddy. Oh, I didn't even realize whether Chica went into the vent. So yeah, you, you can even like, you can even look around in the cameras even in night five. Obviously you're still gonna have to have your focus on the music box, but you know. You can still look around as you see I'm doing. So I mean that argument kind of, like in later modes I can understand, but that argu the argument that you only get like night one and two to like look around on the cameras is ridiculous. Cause it's not true. Um, obviously in like night six probably and you know, 10, 20 mode or all of custom night mainly, you, you're not really gonna be able to do that because the music box just winds down like way too fast to be able to. Um, you still have a decent chunk of the game where you can do that. So we haven't seen Wither Freddy yet. I think I might also try and show some- Oh, I saw JJ. JJ was definitely there under the table right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you can pause it and look. 100% JJ was there. But, um, it's funny because I was just trying to say that I'm also going to probably try and show some of the Easter eggs. Uh, which the only one I could probably really show after this is the one in the prize corner, the endoskeleton. Um, because that one's not too rare. The rest of them are. Like Toy Bonnie. You no, know, not Toy Bonnie. Shadow Bonnie. You know way I'm getting that. In the endoskeleton in the vent. There's like no way I'm getting that. Because that's like a one in a thousand. But Chica's on the vent. How cute. Uh, well, yeah, what, bro? One. Yeah, I need to be more careful with this flashlight. Ain't no way I'm at one battery at 3 a.m. Oh. Okay, it's 4 a.m. now. We might be cooked on the flashlight. Oh, now both of the Bonnies are in the vent. I don't think we're cooked, actually. I think we're good. Toy Bonnie, I wish you would have showed up when Mango was there. Why did you take so long to come out of the vent? Yeah, our flashlight has not been looking too good. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It's only 4 a.m. and I have like no batteries. Yeah, we're already blinking and it's like the beginning of 5 a.m. Uh, that's, that's one thing with looking at the cameras, you're just gonna have to be stingy with your flashlight because on later nights, you know, it's gonna be harder to maintain it. Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh, got my camera forced down. Yeah, you can really never rely on um, the vent banging sounds um, on later nights as well because I'm, 
Okay, there we go. Because uh, there's so many things moving around in the vents that it's, it's just hard to do that. But there we go. Night five is done. $100.50 for all that. That is pretty pathetic. But there we go. November 12th, 1987. So I'm gonna do the sixth night now. The sixth night, um, the sixth night's pretty, pretty challenging. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hello. Uh, what on earth are you doing there? Uh, didn't you get the memo? I'm gonna have to lock in for this night. So yeah, they found Golden Freddy this night, um, and he does appear at 2 a.m. 10% chance to appear before 2 a.m. And then on night two at 1 a.m. he has a 0.1% chance, which is very rare. Where there are so many things going into the vent. I'm gonna have to lock in. I can't really switch cameras uh, for this night. So I'm just going to focus on not doing that. Um, but after this, I'll try and show the, all the jump scares. The nights are shorter uh, in this game, so I might have more time. Although me dying in night two or night four didn't really help. So I might not be able to show all the jump scares, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Go away, BB. Oh, got my camera force down. Hate to see it. I'm also gonna try and do the uh, right RVC. Uh, just slightly. I'm, I'm just gonna remember to keep my mask down a little longer after a blackout to avoid any RNG situations. Um, because you know. If I have a blackout and the music box running low, and then I have to deal with a vent animatronic and they take 5 seconds, I'm screwed. So, I'm not about to do that. And it's 2 a.m. Um, it's 2 a.m. and so I'm gonna have to like, focus a little more, because 2 a.m. is when the animatronics get pretty, pretty aggressive. I mean, literally like, Withered Foxy is at 15 AI, bro. He is at a 15. And there's Golden Freddy. Um, yeah, he's at a 15 AI. His max, his cap AI is 17. So he's pretty aggressive. Okay. Thank you for leaving early, BB. But I know so much about this game. I feel like we're good. I don't usually die on this night. Unless I get really unlucky with Toy Bonnie. Um, which rarely happens. So I think we're good. 3 a.m. night 6. Doing pretty good. But yeah, when you're first playing this, this night is pretty hard. And I can understand why. Um, because yeah, it, there's there's a lot going on. Even after you know all of the mechanics of the game, it's still it's still irritating to beat. Okay, Blake Freddy came into the office. I don't know if he's done that yet. I don't think so. Not in this playthrough. 
So yeah, as you guys can see, like there's a constant like, like toy animatronic in and out. It's a very chaotic night. So 4 a.m. This is where we got last time in FNAF 1. Um, before we died to Foxy, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Second Golden Freddy appearance. Again, he can appear in the hall when no one's in there, which is rare. Uh, on the nights that he can appear, like night 6 and... You know... 1020. You barely see it because there's always someone in the hall. Alright. Oh, I got Shadow Bonnie. I, the game just closed. I got sh Bro, that's crazy. I got Shadow Bonnie, and my game closed because I couldn't freaking do anything. Bro, that's insane. That's never happened to me. You can't- that's one of those situations you literally cannot win. You literally couldn't do anything. That's crazy. I got Shadow Bonnie in the freaking mask. When I was in a blackout, couldn't do anything. Of course, bro. Of course I die on night six to that. Of course. Of course my luck would do that. Let me see what we're at. 46 minutes. I can. I still have time for night six. Of course. Of course, bro. Of course. <sighs> and my game reset too, so like... Phone guy comes back on, but I'm not. I'm not about to do that. That's irritating, bro. I want. I, I think it's cool that I got Shadow Bonnie, but like not in that instance when I'm locked into the mask. <sighs> That's an unwinnable situation because Toy Bonnie just either closes your game or restarts. Not closes. Not Toy Bonnie. I mean, um. And so, since I'm in a blackout, I just, I couldn't flash the light. That sucks, bro. Am I just bound to die on night six? On like every playthrough? Cause come on, that is the weirdest way to lose a night. In, in, in freaking all of FNAF, bro. That is the weirdest way to freaking lose a night. Like, what is that? Actually, what is that? Alright. Anyway. I'm gonna get over it. I can, I'm still gonna do this. But, uh, just because of that loss, guys, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to freaking... I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to... Do, get all the jump scares, because... I just lost a lot of time. I was, like, at the end of night six. Uh, when that happened. So that's ridiculous. at the right vent. Um, something a lot of people don't know is every time BB comes to the right vent, it's always going to be a high. He's always going to say hi.
Now guys, let's try and win this night. See, uh, since the nights are shorter, I actually have time to, you know, get all of these nights done. Um, I just, I don't have time for that in FNAF 1, just because of how long the nights are. They're almost two minutes longer than in this game. So hopefully, I mean, I've died twice, and I'm still gonna have time to finish the sixth night, which is, I, I died once in FNAF 1, and I didn't even have time to finish it tonight. So, yeah. If I die again, I'm not gonna have time to finish the night at this point, so let's just hope that, that doesn't happen. I got my camera force down. I hate when that happens too. Cause like, you know, it's it's just one of those things that I'm not expecting. I know everything, like I know what I'm supposed to do in this game. Um it's just that I don't I don't ever expect. Even though I know it can happen. It happens at every 10 second interval with your camera up if they're in your office. But I just don't expect it. Chica. Five AM. It's pretty common to get uh, Mangle and then Toy Bonnie um, to come out when you're, you know, trying to get rid of Mangle. I don't know why if Toy Bonnie is always there when Mangle is there, but it always happens to be like that. Anyway, we should be winning this any second now. Well, we got the sixth night done. Yay! It took two tries, but... I mean, one of those wasn't even my fault. That's just an unwinnable situation right there. So yeah, we did all of that for $20. Nice. So yeah. Hardest sixth night in the franchise. Let's see how much longer... Okay, I got six minutes. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Um, I'll just go in straight up Golden Freddy mode and see how many jump scares I can get. Uh, probably get puppets first. We already got Foxy, so we're good on that. So I'll get puppets first. I'll literally just keep the light in the hallway so nobody can get in there. Come on, puppet. How long are you gonna take? Thank you. It's the one time I wanna die to you that you never come out. There you go. So there's the puppet. 
I'm just going to keep doing this until, you know, I get all of them. I'm probably not going to get all of them. I only have five minutes. Oh, there's Golden Freddy. <laughs> you know, I only have five minutes, so it kind of sucks for that. But I'll get as many as I can. Well, I kind of need to wind the music box, so, you know. Hello. Oh, I got Golden Freddy again. Whoops. <sighs> My bad on that. I just stopped putting on the mask because, you know, I could have died to a withered animatronic. But, uh, I keep for I forget the Golden Freddy. Okay, I guess Toy Freddy's the next one. <laughs> um, so yeah. The only difficult one that might be, might take a bit to get is, um, Mangle. Mangle takes a good bit to get. Okay, I guess we're getting you next. Yeah, we're not gonna have time, bro. We got freaking three minutes. All right, well... We only need freaking... Withered Bonnie... Chica... Freddy... Put you on 20, you on 20, you on 20. You're off. And, uh, okay, whatever. I'll just do this and try and get one of them to come out. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting all the jump scares. Not in two more minutes. But it's alright. I got a, I got a good few. Okay, cool. Got him away. I guess Toy Bonnie's next. Need Toy Chica, Mango. Uh, let's do the and Withered Bonnie and Withered Chica. So we'll get all of them except for Mango, probably. No, we won't. We'll get Withered Chica. And we'll get Withered Bonnie. But, you know, we won't even get Withered Bonnie, yeah. Well, we got a few, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really like this game. I, th I just wanted to end it with that. I really like the game. Someone kill me. So I hope y'all enjoyed. And I will see it while we'll get with their bunny at the very end. Hope y'all enjoyed and